Now, pressure reduced in the constriction, velocity increased. Consider a consequence. Flag. United States flag, Australian flag. <clears throat> Why does a flag flutter Bernoulli? Have you not heard sometimes your Venetian blind <laughs> chatter Bernoulli? The air blowing across the top of the shutter gives rise to a reduction in pressure. The shutter is lifted up. Now, because of its springiness and its inertia, it falls back, and so it oscillates. And I'll tell you how powerful an instrument Bernoulli's principle is. Some years ago, a bridge way up in northern Washington collapsed because of the effect of Bernoulli's principle, because of the role Bernoulli played. Now we've got something wonderful. Terrific. Oh, why is it terrific? Because you would not believe it. Here it is. Supposing I had a tube and I drove a stream of air up here and I had a ball right at the top, vertically above the blowing air. You would say if the ball stays there, it's because the air pushes up and the ball pushes down, and when they are equal, the ball stays there. And that would be correct. But now supposing I turn the tube off the vertical, and the ball still stayed there. Well, you can't say that anymore, because when the ball receives the air that way, there is a component that way and a component that way. That one may hold up the ball, but this one should drive it away. But I'm going to show you that it doesn't. Watch it. Oops, whoop. Little trouble. Uh-oh. Let me try a heavier ball, a golf ball. And I call to your attention a very significant feature of this. The ball was spinning. This spin gave rise to a reduction of pressure on the upper side, whereupon the atmosphere held it up. Let's take a big one like this. Styrofoam ball. Watch it. I hope we have air enough. Watch. I say that's terrific. I just love that. <laughs> I want to do it again because I do. <laughs> Any objections notwithstanding. Question. Could I get that ball on the horizontal? That's a good one to explore. Indeed, you can do this by going to your gasoline station and using the air hose at your service station. Uh, let me do it again with a golf ball, which is quite heavy. Golf ball, quite heavy. Oops. Little trouble. Now, finally, <clears throat> since I enjoy, as you know, the physics in toys, here is a wonderful demonstration of Bernoulli. Here is a little toy car. Here is a little toy car. And what am I doing? I am storing some energy in a wound up spring. And when I release the spring, it unwinds and turns a fan. And there is a stream of air emerging from here. I'm going to show you that there is. Watch it. There is a little polystyrene ball. There it is. Now remember, I can put that off the vertical. Watch it. There it is. Now what I'm going to do should be an enchantment for ages 4 to 94, as all the physics that we do should be. Watch it now. Watch. Oh, isn't that something? Look at that. I want to do that again, because I like it. There it is. This is a Bernoulli car. And why does it work as it does? Because, one, there is a push of the air, a high velocity on one side of the ball, which gives rise to a diminution in pressure, and thereby 
the atmospheric below holds it up. Now, what shall we say about Bernoulli? The applications are phenomenal. As I've remarked, two ships passing uh, on the sea should not pass too close to each other. Indeed. Have you not stood on the sidewalk when a fast-moving vehicle has gone by and you have been made to rock? Or have you not passed in your car, a bus, let us say, and your car is made to rock? This is a consequence of the reduction in pressure between the vehicles, whereupon the atmosphere on the outside pushes them together. Indeed, when the Japanese designed their most recently uh, accomplished railroad from Osaka to Tokyo, where the trains go about 120 miles an hour, what was the critical thing? Several. One, the center of gravity idea. Number two, how close can the cars be without the effect of Bernoulli? And so I say, read about the Bernoullis. They are wonderful to know about. And I thank you for your attention.